Good evening and welcome everybody. This is the 82L Season X, because I never know, because I always say 17, but I know I don't think it's 17. I am Sequoia. We're here casting the semi-final bracket of the 82L under 3K Archon League. I can never remember because it's just brand new. I have Zig and Tar. Hopefully they know what I'm talking about. Guys, what do you think <laughs> of the draft so far? Uh... With Sector, it's okay. We saw him a lot at the last uh, tournament. Was it Katowice? Yep. Yeah, I saw him a lot there. Titan and Jakiro are kind of staples of Book of Mormon, so we're picks for them. And Jakiro got a huge buff in this batch, I think. Oh, I was. Oh man, I was gonna say. You know who I love picking against Elder Titan? Life Stealer. Life Stealer destroys Elder Titan because Elder Titan's one control is his. Spirit Stomp. So it's two of his spells. And then if you see that, you just rage and you just run at him. And there's nothing he can do about it. And it's usually a kill. I freaking love Life Sealer against Elder Titan. I think it is the only bad thing about that pick is it's a little bit early. And Life Stealer can be easily kited by uh, particular cores later in the game. That's good against Shakiro, too. Yeah, Shikiro that's can't true. Do anything against him when he's raged and he can just run at Shikiro too. But once his rage is over, he'll be in a lot of problems. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely, you definitely have to be very cautious on when to rage because it's as good as it is against those two heroes. Uh, as soon as the rage is up, they have a decent amount of control, and especially if Shakira gets a Yules or something like that. Blue should probably ban AA here, I think. They've already got Witch Doctor Heal and Life Stealer. Although I don't know how many teams pick it anymore. We just do it a lot because he just plays it like a genius. Yeah, he got a, I mean, it's a level 25, but he got kind of a silly, I think a silly little buff. <laughs> An AOE, yeah, we got AOE. that thing. It's crazy. <laughs> AOE cold. I saw a video of that. It's oh, like God. the range of a sniper ult. Seriously? Yeah, it's 900. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's kind of nuts. So let's see here. No AA ban yet. Did it avoid Wait, so ban. it's like the shrapnel though, right? What? AA's so, cold feet is yeah, yeah, a 900, 900 AOE. AOE. So it's you just cast it in a huge AOE, like like shrapnel or yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's pretty crazy. It is level 25, and you know the game's got to go pretty long for an AA to get there. But they did buff they did buff tome too. So you, I mean, supports will likely yeah, so get that's that. Big. Yeah, I, love I don't know if it's support. bigger than the four charges though, because the four charges you can use like that. You use it, and then it's still done until. Whenever it's cooled down again, and say if you only there's only one or two people around, then you just don't have it available again. But the four charges, you could just you you it was it had basically 100 percent uptime. Yeah, I like the four charges quite a bit. I I still think AA is a little bit on the weak side, just because is I think laning is so important right now, and unless you're going to go an aggro tri lane, I just I just think AA doesn't provide you a lot in the laning phase, unless you think you can just dominate your safe lane. A does have one thing going for him though. So he's the only reliable counter in the like, whole game right now to the HP region. Bullcrap yeah, that's going on. that that is true. That is very true, especially since with the Alch I think Alchemist got a little buff too. So I mean, we might see more of him. Surprising they picked Storm there with uh, I don't know. It seems early for me. Do you think it's um, a counter pick? They don't want the Storm with the Life Stealer bomb. Five seconds. Yeah, that's remaining. potential. Uh, I also noticed as well that. Book of Mormon themselves banned Razor in the first phase, which is a huge life stealer counter. So that gives Team Blue some more space with that. I think Razor's one of the strongest heroes in the meta right now. Yeah, I like him a lot. He's good. <laughs> he only got a 15 increase mana increase on his freaking yeah, that's, link. Like, that's nothing. He didn't care about that at all. <laughs> no. yeah. Especially since he's getting Yules and things that boost his mana pool up too. Like... Oh, what a dirty support, Keeper of the Light. I don't know if that's better against Storm than something with stuns would have been. Yeah. I... I'm going to look that up real quick, actually. I think also yeah. the Jagiro is pretty good at sieging, even with the Blinding Light. Yeah. Because Mana Leak doesn't affect um, Storm when he's in Ball Lightning, right? So he can just zip out. I don't, don't think, so. think that it does. His hero unit disappears always in the lightning. So technically his hero's not moving. I'm right on that. 
no, I think that it, oh, I don't. Let me look up this interaction. I'm sure we'll find out at some point in this game. What do you guys think of Slardar? He's gonna be cool, looking like a core hero too. Uh, I don't know. I think he's really boring to play. <laughs> oh god, he's the most boring hero in the game. To play. Oh, I think he's really fun to play. <laughs> oh, seriously? Yeah. Oh, here's that. Out, stun, get out, go back in, stun again, and it's pretty low cooldown for this stun too. So you guys want to hear a little uh, Sequoia Dota trivia? Slardar was my first ever hero in Dota. Huh. I, I like him. I think he's good. I lost. Just, just to also increase. <laughs> the, uh... I think most people lose their first Dota game. <laughs> uh, I think yeah. my first Dota game was Zeus, and I bought a Maelstrom. It's <laughs> lightning. Oh, I bought. Uh, I, I think I definitely rushed Radiance. <laughs> Radiance and Perseverance is, I'm guessing, that was all I really played when I we first started. Abaddon. Now these are kind of interesting picks. Like you never, very rarely do you even see Abaddon these days. Don't really see Slardar much. You can dispel the Titan Sleep, right? That's pretty good. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. I think Elder Titans pretty well countered out, to be honest. I mean, even if they get a nice sleep and they try to engage on someone, Blinding Light will be able to reset the fight real nice. You got the shield to wake him up, Witch Doctor to heal him up. Here's another thing to think about as far as this is going, at least so far, is they got two melee cores. Slardar Crush, really good against melee. Elder Titan, really good against melee unless Lifestealer rages. And Jakira, really good against melee. They also got to walk through Storm Spirits, too. Uh, I think they're going to have to burst people fast. Team Blue they don't still get kited to no end. Yeah, I think Team Blue needs a definitely a ranged core to go in their mid. I don't Book know. of Mormon banned Tinker as their last ban, even when they had Storm, which is really interesting <laughs> to me. Tinker would have been okay. No, no. You don't think so? Storm. Never? Never, ever, never? ever. Never, ever. It's, 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 Tinker beats him in lane big time, but after 20 minutes, Storm craps on Tinker. Oh, wow, we go for another Ember. melee core. Oh. They're going to get kited all over the place by Jakiro. I think that's insanely risky. But it's they... also risky because Storm destroys Ember Spirit. In all phases like, too, right? He I mean, destroys him. Yeah, in ev in every in every phase, yes. Ember might be slightly better at uphill defense late game. That I think that's the only thing I can think he'd be better at. I like Ember a lot. I just don't think he's very good. Yeah, same. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's played he, safely in a lot back in the day. I but... was. Did you see the changes to his sleight of fist? It does uh, a lot more hero damage now, and his flame flame guard is so like you need it, but it's so bad at early levels. I was thinking, what if you just max slide a fist and then just harass the enemy hero out of like it's a hundred twenty extra attack damage every what is it six seconds once you max it? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe that's just me theory. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know, know if that's good at all, but. Yeah, I think the problem with when you do... I mean, that's how people played Ember when he first came out, but then that mana shield's going to protect you so much in this game. Yeah, I have to get it, but it's... Yeah, it's it just sucks. This isn't like 50 damage the first level. Waste for the first three levels, yeah. yeah. It's it's not good until it hits level four, and even then it's still really bad now. Oh, another Ricky. amazing hero against Ember, too. Ooh. Is that a carry Ricky? Oh, it is... Kind of looks that way. It's either Carry Ricky or yep. Carry Slardar. Boy, no, it's oh. a Carry Ricky. We saw Book of was it Book of Mormon that did that in another league? I think so. Yeah, it was. We I, saw think. Book of, I think it was. Wasn't it them when they ran the Jakiro Ogre tri lane? Yeah. So we're probably looking at a Titan Jakiro Ricky tri lane. Wow. I don't know. I uh, I kind of like. Uh, I think Book of Mormon's trapped. I kind of like a little better. Coddle Even. Coddle and Witch Doctor are going to be. Just food for a carry, Ricky. I think 
L I think Titan's going to get I think Titan's going to struggle quite a bit too, but I think the other heroes on Book of Mormon are going to have in pretty be in pretty good shape to be pretty successful. Honestly, life stealer too. In cloud, you can't do anything. No. Yeah, I I I mean, and I think the Ember Spirit is I mean, they're going to have to guarantee his lane. I think I, I don't know if even a good laning phase with Life Stealer is really going to help you out bringing it going into the mid game. If Ember's Seven. just destroyed and in the way behind, he's going to be more of a liability. Another thing is Control usually plays their four position and he's on the Ember, which is interesting. Maybe it's a signature hero. I've seen him play that in uh, pubs. And I, like I said, Ember's <clears throat> my favorite of the three spirit heroes, but man, he is just... I think if you don't do well laning, you're just such a giant liability. Oh, I almost yeah. feel like he needs a BKB this game, which is really sad on an Ember. Well, while we're paused here, I gotta... I always forget to switch my settings. I'll be right back. Yeah, I wish Ember was better. I love the the Ember games going uphill. It's just impossible. You can't you can't go against Ember uphill. Ugh, just beautiful. Ember Radiance. Love some EE. -E. E -E Ember was uh, always a treat to see in the pros too. <laughs> Never know what he's gonna do. Yeah, it just buys a hood Run or into five heroes or <laughs> take over the game. I'll, I'll always remember that EE game where he was Ember against evil geniuses and in that team fight right oh, over in this area. Was, you yeah. remember this? Oh, yes. That blink where he... That was one of the most amazing Dota plays I've ever seen. Oh. And, yeah, that, that was really incredible. But everything else that I remember about him and and uh, Ember Spirit is him throwing the games in hilarious ways. He's one of those players where I think he has some of the best itemization strategies of any person maybe next to Aoi 2000 uh, but boy oh dude he's so good like his I'm not I, I think he tries to be next level and sometimes it is <laughs> and sometimes it is amazingly bad but he's an all or nothing kind of guy that's we got to give him credit for yeah. that like oh, i mean yeah. he he it's goes to watch it's <laughs> like watching a train wreck in slow motion and not knowing whether the train's going to actually wreck, which you think it probably will, and it has a whole lot, or if it somehow comes out, <laughs> like, like there, there's no in between. <laughs> I also, I also really, really like the idea of him and Universe on the same team because Universe is very consistent, kind of that level playing field, and EE is so bouncy. I think they really help level each other off. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. They did really well at the uh, Katowice too. Yeah. And honestly, they had a hard group. They had a hard placement in group, and they still handled it really well. So this is the semifinal game. Team that wins this best of three will go into the grand finals next week. I actually don't know the other bracket at all. I only know teams in this bracket, so there is no reveal for this Ricky either. And they boofed the runes again, right? So now you should always contest the runes, I think. Um, yeah, yeah. well, they give more gold, but no experience now. 60 gold to every player, though. Like, if you can get an extra one of those, that's so much gold. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. That's a, it's worth a first blood, even if you give up. Oh! Oh, man, I just care out. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to get the one, but Ricky will get the other. And over on the other side, who got it? Oh, Slardar got it, so he's going to get two. So that's uh, three for Book of Mormon. Yeah, off to a nice little start. Looks like Weeb Slayer will be playing the Ricky Carry. Really? Oh, it's doing it again. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Okay. Just right. a little bit really of really early sentry on Storm when they have the Ricky and there's no invis heroes on the other team. It's kind of interesting. I guess wants to know if they put down <laughs> I don't know. 
Not really sure. Really paranoid about that uh, random Invisirun. Yes. Okay, so Kyle and Jakira are just gonna have a bit of a pushing fight here. <laughs> Coddle's so annoying to go, go go up against. I think he's annoying to have in your lane with you too, honestly. Oh, if you have a every bad time he blasts and he just pushes your group wave out while you're yeah. trying to farm. Bad coddles and pubs are the worst. Like they're like, I'm here to help you. No, no, no. I don't want you in my lane. Like I don't need your help. Your version of help is ruining my lane. Ooh, double sleep up top. Gonna get all the spirit damage. I also, my other biggest pet peeve in pubs is when the coddle's like, I got more CS than you carry. And you're like, yeah, because you got like 50 <laughs> CS in 15 minutes, and I should have had all those. I do have a sentry down here where you're taking some shots to the back of the head. That's the thing about carry Ricky. He's countered by 100 gold. And he doesn't... I mean... He doesn't have... Yeah, I guess he has better armor than I thought. He has 5, but... It's not the best. Especially when you're going against an Abaddon who hits you once and you just start beating on him. Yeah, they're moving to a tri lane down here. Ricky's getting hurt too badly. Unfortunately, oh. that puts Slardar all by oh. himself. I think that'll be a really tough That's match That's the other time to sleep, though. Oh yeah, my bad guys. I had to I borked that. I still had the title screen on for when I reset. Our Oops. radio dota wasn't good, very good. You missed my awesome camera work too. I, crack her with light. I had I was watching three lanes at once, it was pretty amazing. Could only do it for so long though. Ember I, how is Ember winning his lane? I was just gonna say he's crushing the storm. Apparently, I need to watch this lane a little bit more. Like, I I don't understand how this is possible. It seems like the storm isn't really harassing him at all. Then Ember's just taking advantage of his faster attacks. Yeah, I feel like Storm should be much more up in Ember's face right now. Oh, he's going aggressive. Yeah, no. no uh, I was doing Spirit and then attack him once, and it'll it'll purge the buff off of him. So he is maxing out the shield. Finally getting to the point where it starts doing some decent protection. God, level one's still 50. That's what I thought it was. Well, bottom. Oh, ooh, man Ben's fighting against his Abaddon. He's in all sorts of trouble in first blood. Gonna go to Book of Mormon. Ricky Maru's gonna get away from that. Oof. I thought Abaddon was gonna win that, to be honest. destroying mid, which I'm really surprised by. I am too, and he's not really getting support either. I mean, I haven't seen anyone go up to help him all out at all. Coddle has given him a couple of spikes of mana, but that's about it. Slaughter top. Ooh. No rage from life stealers though. So he just I'm also away. surprised the Slaughter hasn't died. <laughs> like he was so low for quite a while, but and then uh, right when his support left him, but he hasn't. Must have healed up pretty decent since then. Ricky's starting to get harassed really heavily down here. Abaddon's kind of taking control of the lane. Getting pretty much whatever he wants. Realtree just now got a second level in Static Remnant. I think you really want to max that in this lane. You want the maximum amount of the damage. You want it to for the farm and for the harass. Ember can't come up to the lane if you put a Remnant down. Yeah, I don't think you worry about Vortex, like, at all. No. In lane. Well, and Vortex isn't yeah, that yeah, good, no. too, right? I mean, it slows you, you down. You get one by the time you're close to six, so yeah. you have some control if you need it. But, yeah, other than that, no. Because if you cast it, you're committed. Like, you you can't run after you cast that. Versus when you're at six, you can just ult and kind of bl blast back. 
Cobble getting some pretty good harassed oh. I think if Ember had committed to those triple remnants, he might have killed Storm there. I'm still yeah, shocked. I think I was surprised line. he didn't. Now he's just gonna shred up. Scan up here from the dire. It Ooh, overall nice. it shouldn't be too big of a deal though. Storm can catch up and will counter Ember, I think, late and very well. Yeah, the other nice thing is, you know, supports are pretty heavily incentivized to stack, and Storm is a great hero to stack on. Abaddon starting to actually get tons of damage sent to him. Three heroes beating into him, but nice body block from the Coddle prevents another right click from the Elder Titan. He's so fast, too, especially when he gets the Curse of Avernus stacks out there. You can just outrun anyone right now. Oh, Ricky committed to try to blast the salve, but uh, oh. the shields protected him and the salve was uh. almost fully utilized. Maybe one more hit. Will the shield proc? Not quite. Uh, Abaddon's going to go to sleep. Ricky coming back in here. Ooh, nice wand pop. Gets the Abaddon. Decent amount of health. Goes in for the Ricky, but the Ricky's very, very, very still. Oh, commits, but not oh, quite. Oh, no. Coddle's trying to get it, and the spirit the takes him spirit. out. But Slardar is going to die on the other side of the game. And then also Coddle caught out. Tries to go for the Ricky, but the Ricky has a lot more health uh, than you kind of expect. Really rough. BOM, 3-1 to one on the board. Then you'll get CS and Dyer's just way, way ahead. Ember, Ember to mid. And, oh, he got him. Was that pre-6 too? No, he, he was 6, but he still got him. He had wow. Arcane Rune. Yeah, good for this Ember though. Like, holy cow, I can't believe. Like, He's ahead of his carry and farm. I thought this guy was going to be a liability this game. I mean, Control, I love you, man. You're you're a hell of a player, but man, that's, uh, that's impressive. But you know, this Slardar is getting a lot more than I thought he was going to get too. Has a full tranquils, full wand. Uh, he does really dead. fine in lane against Lifestealer, who can harass him with Lifesteal, but just a proc, just a bash or two proc is, is so much damage. A nice blast from Coddle. Ooh, try to zone out the Abaddon there. Ricky gets that last CS, diving for it. Things are kind of calming down. Kind of pretty. Just a couple little random fights here and then. Not anything major. Century War does come out. <laughs> His Coddle just wipes the wave over and over again. <laughs> oh. I think at this point they're fine to do that. The Ben's going to be six soon. They can probably dive tier twos, honestly, with that. They just wipe out the slain. Coddle popped a mango there. Actually does get a hit on Ricky. Ricky's down at half health now. Does have a ring of health. Oh, Slardar. Oh, miss. Oh, he ends up getting the, the Maledic death. Oh. Thought he made it out of that too. Not quite though. So Ember's going greedy. Bots first. So is the idea you can split push and increase your farm, is that kind of the idea of the bots first, Ember? Yeah, but not against Storm. No, he needs something to uh, fight. He needs like a uh, Storm or Battle Fury or something. I mean, he, he needs to be doing fast enough. Now. Okay, but this, uh, I don't know, he, he's snowballing. He, if he continues to snowball, then it can, then it can work. But it, other than that, it's potentially kind of rough. Oh, Ricky. Oh, ho, ho, barely misses the clip from Coddle. Shakiro went uh, one, two, one. Two and an ice path over oh, the other two skills. Yeah. I guess trying to control the event. Shakiro's going to see. He's going to go greedy here. He's going to try to get this room. One of it's good, but he does get it. Oh, and the Coddle Blast doesn't quite hit. Ember's gonna come cut him off. Throws another spirit up. He's just this taking. Oh, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> well, 
Control's probably pretty happy he went up there for that kill. <laughs> but did let Ricky get some CS. He's been having a pretty tough lane. He's got his treads up. Jakira's gonna buy the tome. Storm is caught out. Coconut gonna come through. But is he hasted? Yeah, he's got haste okay. bottle. He's good. Slaughter's gonna go for Echo Saber first. What do you guys think of Echo oh, Saber? This is another one uh tread switch or drop his nulls when he hit the shrine there. Uh, Echo Saber, wait, Echo Saber first on Slardar? Yeah. Not a fan. Yeah, I'm not Blink even. first. Yeah. Blink. Oh, what? No, I, I would like that. Why not? We used to get on Void all the time, and it was really good. It's the same on Void Slardar. Void has a built-in initiation, though. Slardar doesn't. I think the thing about it is, like, you, you might get another potential chance at a bash, but... I think there's just... I mean, your stun's a guaranteed His stun. You bash blink damage in. damage is more than Void's. Once he gets it, it's 25% for 120 bonus damage. That's significant. Yeah, he can't. does have a talent to boost it, too. I, I still think Blink, though. I mean, you blink in, you're going to... Oh, Witch Doctor gets a pretty wicked ult on. Oh, going to put the Ember to sleep, but <laughs> Elder has no support. He is not going to be going anywhere. Another kill from Team Blue. Team Blue take the lead in the kill court. Four to five. So we're about ready to kind of come in the mid game here. Who do you think's ahead right now? Is is this kind of what Team Blue wanted? I mean, their Ember is ridiculously farmed, and so is their Life Stealer. Uh, yeah, I think honestly, I think they needed this start for it to go well to continue to go well later. Slaughter switched to a Blink now from the Echo Saber. Looks like. Okay. I don't think. Echo's bad after. I don't really like Echo a lot. I don't think it's bad on him. But I think the blink oh, first. Oh, I don't think Slaughter is making out of this one though. Maledict is on him. Oh, oh. TPs. Oh, he got a nice wand. Life yeah, Stealer. Alive. Life Stealer is actually. Oh. Oof. Oh, Slaughter's dead. I spoke too soon. Okay, hang around. Or did he actually just die to the Maledict? The Maledict, yeah. yeah. The Maledict, yeah. I thought it actually with his magic wand he was going to be fine. This Switch Doctor is so oh, aggressive. Level Max four. Max Mel deck, yeah. Yeah, wow. All right, no points in heal. Although he doesn't really need yeah. the points in heal because he's <laughs> supporting a life stealer. I really like that. So why I, think, I think that's pretty that smart. Bad. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you really need it. And then on top of the fact... Oh, Ember's TP in bottom. Looks like he wants to get some action done. Control comes in here. Triple, double remnant in. Gets the Ricky caught out. Ricky does put up his magic wand. Gives him a little bit extra health. Does pop up his alt. Try to give him a little bit extra protection. There is a ward there going to be spotting him out. But looks like he's going to get away. Having to go pretty deep. Slardar. Just going to shake off that death coil. Or mist coil or whatever they call it these days. Storm for not having a really good lane. He is going to take an early tier 1 tower. Only 280 health. His tower is very healthy. Ember didn't get that third remnant down, which is kind of unfortunate. Might have killed Ricky if he had. Ricky's kind of playing with fire. Ember goes deep on Cedar Boy. Cedar Boy going to try to get into the forest. He does have TPs coming in here. Here comes the Elder Titan. He's going to try to pop off the sleep. Yes, he is, but doesn't get a very far spirit out. And Ember's going to be able to just walk away from this one. I think the Elder Titan got a little tr ha uh, trigger happy. Didn't yeah, that was also he just panicked, put it down as quick as he could. When he could have ran it out in front of him and got it, I think a couple of them. And he even had the range to put it a, a position where control had to run through it, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. That's the other thing with it too is you don't need to put it right next to you because you have put it quite a distance from you, and then you've got two large AOEs like. Ooh, control's gonna go on storm, but the storm alts out of the chains. Oh. That was close. The storm was very, very hot on the trigger. Got this alt off before the chains hit. Life Stealer is going for straight radiance after face boots. Oh my god! Really? <laughs> yep. Wow. 
Uh, Looks like they're going to start putting some pressure on uh, Lifestealer up here, but uh oh, there's a Witch Doctor here, and the Coconut's flying. The Rage is going to just shake off that stun from Slardar. Macropire is going to come in as well, but be totally off the mark. Cedar Boy is running for his life. Blending Light will bring him back into the Ember, changed up, and he will die. Slardar goes down. Just the Chikiro up here all by himself, and I don't know if he wants to be there either. This Witch Doctor is playing insane this game. 3, 0, and 2 on this Witch Doctor. I mean, as a support Witch Doctor, I don't think you can be much happier than that. Not really. That's without his ult, even. I don't think he's used it yet. He used it on uh, Storm Spirit once. That was it. This rage, though, is definitely causing a lot of problems from BOM. Oh, just off the path, a miss on the ice path. Didn't even need the rage for that one. He went and got the Radiance recipe first when he had like 4,200. Yeah, I, I really have that choice. The, yeah. I can see it if like you're gonna die and you wanna save your gold, but if you're in a pretty safe situation like he is, there's no reason not to saunter over to the enemy side secret shop and get it. They're trying to put more pressure up on him. He does have some pretty good net worth. He's finally getting to the position where he's not getting a lot of CS. Man, these, uh... <laughs> I'm surprised Ricky's actually caught up as well as he's a little bit further back a little while ago, but sitting right with Lifestealer right now. The only one really that's just slightly ahead is Ember. He was still getting kills though too though. I, mean, I just don't think there's much BOM can do about this Lifestealer. They can harass him down, but if he wants to, he can just rage and basically casually walk away. Alright, real treat. Show us the ultimate Maledict Dodges. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth the mana cost. <laughs> if you got the mana and you're about to die, yeah, it totally is, obviously, but yeah, not in that, I don't think. Ember's grabbing oh, up DD coming now. Ricky does have his Battle Fury up and running, so his farm is going to start picking up pretty fast. You think that's the play? Get Battle Fury and get Storm some stacks and then just start out farming and when you start getting to the 25-30 minute mark, you'll be an item or two ahead? I think it's good on him no matter what, but especially with his ult makes it really good. And think about Storm. A Storm goes Ags. Gets a five-man uh, bring it into a Ricky ult. That's a crazy amount of damage. With a Jakiro uh, Ice Wall on top of it and everything, it would be really, really good. Witch Doctor does have a killing spree going on. It's Ricky would, I think, love to pick him off. Looks like he's gonna rotate up on mid. Oh, life seal overcommitted. Oh, maybe not. Nope. Oh, nope. He's okay. He'll walk away. And actually, it's uh, gonna be Book of Mormon who have overcommitted. Control's gonna go in here. Slardar all Slardar stun's gonna get hit on control, but it isn't gonna matter. Smoke randomly popped, and a dust. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna hit it either way, I don't care. It looks like they're gonna see if they can get this life stealer. A couple more CS. Oh my gosh! The ult from the storm is not quite there. Will the. Oh, he's gonna recall him back. That's a really smart play, unless the Elder Titan sees it, but he doesn't. Dang. That's quite a save. Wow. Nice blinding light. I thought the uh, ET was I don't gonna. Wanna, like, bash. Real treat too much, but he could have zipped further in front of him. He still had mana to commit further past him, and then even the blast, he would have been able to right click him another time or two and it would have killed him. Yeah, he got a little conservative there. I think he was wondering if he was going to get over, if he didn't want to overcommit, kind of like uh, his yeah, teammates that's, that's did, but I think it would have been worth it. it. Storm. Yeah, because if he would have gone any further, he was committed. He wasn't able to back up, but. Ends up not letting him get the kill of Radiance, giving the Lifestealer what do you, the amount of evade protection. 
But I like Steelers S and Y queued up, which I'm not a fan of. Personally. Oh, I love S and Y and Life Steeler. Yeah, me too. Race car build? I don't know about after Radiance. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That's yeah. That's I don't think you're gonna do it. Just go straight phase drums S and Y. Yeah, if you get a Radiance, you're just going for like Basher or something. Okay, I'm, I agree with that. Or just more HP as a whole. Yeah, Abyssal. Yeah. Ooh, Ricky does oh. dodge the Ember ult, but I don't think he's going to make it out of this one. Dust has popped it. Oh, Ember throws down the ult. The hate for Ricky. Some, uh, I know a bunch of our crew hates Ricky, so the hate is definitely real. Control's feeling it, too. Moves towards this Jakiro. He's, uh, he's got the Cyclone queued up and a blink, which is... Cyclone, I... Yeah, I think he's just go straight BKB. He's already got, he already went Battle Fury. Yeah, I don't think Cyclone's great. Doesn't really give him much. It'll save him against one thing, and that's it. And if you're gonna do that, you might as well go Lincoln's. What's it saving you against? Just the Storm Cyclone? Uh, Storm, it can save you from Jakiro, it can purge off Slardar buff. Ricky, I mean, it can save him from stuff, but not permanently like a BKB will. Yeah. And just dies. you're just gonna do do it for just a one off spell save, you might as well go. Oh, Ricky it. tries to get the Witch Doctor, oh. but it wasn't quite enough. He's gonna get away. And now Ricky's gonna be caught on control alts in, but Ricky is fast enough on the blink out. He should not be seen anymore. That was good. Ricky's going S and Y as well. BOM just able get, not able to capitalize on any of these kills. They're trying, but they heroes from Team Blue are getting away with sub 100 health. That was like the third or fourth one we've seen. Uh, Ricky's at a space where he can, or at a place where he can start creating a lot of space, like a uh, slarker cost after he gets his Shadow Blade. He can just start going around and killing people if he wants to. And let Storm catch up. Yeah, I almost think that, that him and Storm need to see if they can get a uh, combination set up on the Ember. Storm gonna grab up here on this Abaddon. He's sitting at 300 health. His ult has been procced. Storm's gonna ult in one more time, grab him, and then Abaddon wanted that rune, but BOM don't let him have it. And then uh, Storm takes it. Storm has his Orchid up too now. Now he can really start yeah, fighting it's, it's It's too late for that. I think he should have gotten Bloodstone this game and just stayed away from people and got big. Again, he hits the Shrine, but he doesn't Tread Switch or drop Nulls or, or his Orc. It was just really big. Ember's just pretty small deep things, down but here. it would save him a whole lot of mana. Storm gonna go up and put in the silence. Control's right in a here. bunch of trouble. Oh, beautiful Jakiro. And then there oh. goes Storm. Right. Oh, oh. That's a lot of gold. And Ricky it got it. Ooh. All right, that's where the orc. I think it, was that the orchid reveal? No, no, they should have seen it because he was uh, fighting a bat, batten earlier. Yeah, they had. Oh, it. That was a big mistake to be that far out, knowing that storm had the orchid. I think he was really dependent on his fast trigger fingers, but in that storm. If you don't have a ward there, it's yeah. so hard to be that fast. After thinking about it, it is just so good against Ember. I, I, I think it's probably right to still get the orchid. Ricky is it's definitely orchid game at some point for sure. Ricky's switched off of oh he's got his snow light, never mind. He's going uh, Scotty next. Oh man, I'm surprised he's not going Diffusal Blade. I freaking love Diffusal Blade on Ricky. Yeah, this he should. Uh especially against Ember who actually their whole team is really mana hungry. Ember, Lifestealer, Abaddon. Their cores really need their mana and don't have great mana pools. So I, I, I agree, yeah, he should definitely go to Fusil. And I mean, he should be able to just murder the Witch Doctor, right? Oh, Ricky gonna yeah, get after he, after he caught out by control. Cloud does come in now. Now Ricky's re-engaging. Pretty low on health, though. He does have a salve, and he is gonna opt to pop it. Full Solar Crest up on Abaddon. If this life stealer sees anybody and goes on him, that solar crest gets popped. It's gonna be brutal. Oh wow, ET alt committed to protect this tower. The cores will back off from Team Blue and 
Gonna be meeting up with the witch doctor. Probably hoping to regroup up with these creeps and the siege creep and start continue sieging in this tower. Oh, Ember's coming in too. They want this tower. Seer boy in position. Does he have his blink up yet? He does. Do they know about the blanket? And we're going to try to keep that blanket. Takira yeah, is completely so. caught out. Macropire will be dropped, but it is not going to do much good. Big ult's already committed from Team BOM. And I don't think Team Blue really care a whole lot. Oh, and Coddle has a scepter already at 26 minutes. Ricky going to try to get out of this. Looks like he'll get away. This Coddle's been farming the jungles like a madman. Summoning his GH. I mean, man, even a 26 minute scepter for any Coddle is pretty decent. Uh oh. Wait, Looks like the Witch Doctor get caught out. Oh, but now is the Storm going to be out of mana? He's pretty close. He's trying to get up the hill. Will he make it up? But now he's completely caught out of mana, and here comes Ember. Just, Ember's going to. Oh, misses the slide of fist, but Storm continues to be out of mana. He's trying to bottle up, but will he make it out of there? He tries to get away a little bit longer, but Control says you aren't getting away and slices him down with the slide of fist. I can't imagine this isn't going to be a tier 2 tower for Team Blue now. Yeah, they can fight it. Uh, I don't know. Man, I feel like I'm bashing on Storm too much. I don't want to be, but I don't know why he went that direction when he could have just run into it over or, or, or ulted over the cliff. Down I'm, to here. I'm actually he a little surprised he didn't, he didn't ult TP. I mean, that seemed like a pretty good opportunity to do it. Yeah, that would work too. I thought that's what he actually did. I was actually about to say it, and then I noticed that I was clicked on him and his TP wasn't on cooldown. I was like, oh, never mind. Oh. It, looked, it looked like he just thought he would get over the ledge right oh, away. Ricky's caught. And then Ricky's he didn't, and then he was caught away. out. But Ember goes straight to his ult. He is dusted. Gonna try to see if he can get out of this one, but he is probably not gonna make it out. Oh, the dust! Oh, another dust has popped up. Ricky tries to get one last right click, but not enough. Oh, that clutch last Ooh, minute career like shield. Thousand now. That's quite a bit. They're playing it really well. I thought that they, um, that Book of Mormon, heavily outdrafted them. Yeah, I mean, Control must just know how to play Ember well, and maybe Storm's just a little bit uncomfortable with Storm. That's the only thing I could really think of. Probably gonna pick up this. Oh wow, nice shield from Abaddon. Oh, and the Solar Crest keeps him alive for one more right click. Storm's completely out of mana though. Control re-engages on him, just starts taking chunks out of him of his health, and he does end up going down. Coddle blinding light, gonna give him some protection. Jakira drops down the macro prior to hopefully cover their retreat, but looks like Slaughter is gonna be caught out, and then Jakira to soon really follow. Nice Ember. That was perfectly timed. It blocked the Slardar stun and the Jakiro Ice Path. And Team Blue, I think they're just going to march down mid. I don't think anything BOM can do at this point. Yeah, it's just two towers. He's going to see if he can cause a little chaos mid, maybe protect their tower. He does end up protecting. A little surprised they didn't try to re-engage in the Ricky with only him and Elder Titan up. Which Ember has a Chrysalis now. Starting to pump out, take uh, damage. Yeah, Abaddon had vision. I thought that they just didn't have vision for him, but Abaddon has four, four dusts. I don't know why they didn't go back on him. Yeah, and Witch Doctor's got a uh, sentry too. I mean, I'm a big fan of dropping sentries and out right outside of tower range whenever people have Ricky Marus. But they want to get Roche, so they're going to head in the pit and start beating down Roche. Lifesteal's just opting not to help. There he is. <laughs> 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 they're letting the weakest of the three take it. Uh. As is true. I thought Lifesteal was going to say, you get my Radiance and I'm taking a break. I've had a hard game. They give it to Ember. Mortality. 
I mean, with Ember farming as well as he is, he is going to output the most damage if he does get caught out. And with the Abaddon Witch Doctor, this Lifestealer can front line and not really have too much problem. ET's actually going to have his first sleep hit, I think, that I've seen on Lifestealer, and Abaddon just shields it off. I think this is the problem when you pick an ET out this early is as much as I like ET and I think he's extremely effective oh, at zoning out team he fights. Almost just soloed ever bottom. Oh wow. Yeah, he definitely should have BKB'd instead of Cycloned. In my opinion, I guess we'll, we'll see how it turns out. That would have been a huge kill for Ricky. He's going for a Bloodthorn too and uh, over a uh, Daedalus, which ah. Uh... <laughs> I can see that, I guess, yeah. His uh, Slide of Fists will do much less damage. Just get a Daedalus next. Oh, Slardar wants his Coddle. Sick and tired of this thing. Or BKB, even with the Cyclone. I think this is my problem with Slardar is he's got, yeah, he's got his Blink Echo. He doesn't have terrible farm considering his lane, but even with those two big items, is he really going to help the team fights at 32 minutes in the game? I mean, I mean, if he gets everybody buffed up, yes, especially with Ricky. Uh, I mean, Ricky will hit people so hard against that corrosive haze. Uh -oh. And that's just that. Slardar was looking for a target. He's going AC. I think he needs a force next. He just needs to keep getting in and out and control their melee cores with the brushes. I think I think force is absolutely essential in Slardar. Yeah. I think Coddle and Witch Doctor should both have one too. Just to save people from Ricky. Yeah, I agree with that too. I do love the Glimmer Cape. They do both have Glimmers now, which is pretty good for it as well. But not quite as good as force in my opinion. I think I kind of agree. I agree depending on the team comp. I mean, right now there's not a lot of... There is Ricky, so... It's like... Well, I guess it'd be the other team, so... They don't have any invisible units on their team, so it really forces them to kind of buy out a bunch of reveal items, which helps with just keeping their supports having to buy those items, which is kind of nice. But as soon as this tower starts hitting people... The Coddle Blast comes in here and pretty much recharges his team back to full health. They're literally at, like, I think they're less than 100 damage. Tier 3 is going to fall as well. Ricky's trying to get this Witch Doctor on the back line. He's going to end up not getting it, though. This Glimmer Cape going to give him all the protection he needs. And now they're going to start beating down this barracks. Two heroes from Team BOM are going to be going down. Coddle Blast comes in and just wipes them clean. Four heroes oh, down. Oh, and they're GG. Oh. Team I really Blue. That was a coordination thing. Like they had the court, they they could have initiated successfully there, but everybody was just. I don't know. I feel like uh, Blue took the game to Book of Mormon, and Book of Mormon was just being reactive the whole time instead of taking the game to them. You know. Oh yeah, I, I definitely agree. And I think they act. I, I liked their draft quite a bit more actually. I think. I don't think nine times out of ten, yeah. I think Amber loses yeah. that lane about as bad as he won that. Right. Uh yeah, I I feel like that was the way it got played. So, well, we'll see how we it goes will, from uh, here. yeah, we'll be back in, for game two in just a few minutes, and I'll try not to have the title screen on for the first uh, 15 minutes. See you guys in just a few.
like I said. Welcome back, everybody. It is the AD2L Playoffs. I'm here with Tar. Ziggity might be back in a little bit, but for now, me and Tar have the helm, and Book of Mormon bust out their ogre. Tar, is this a is this a game losing draft? For me, but I hate the hero. <laughs> I do too. And, and I hate Centaur too. So, <laughs> uh, man, I, I used to them. love I them. Like I, hate, I just think they're not good. So, I used to really like Centaur. I just I don't. I mean, he seems like he gets a shitty stun if he hits it, throws a double edge, and then pretty shortly after that dies. That just seems like what he does. I mean, um, honestly, this sounds crazy. I think Centaur is best as a carry. You get him a ton of items, ton of, especially in the right lineup where they have a lot of right clickers. They, they can't fight him. Like he's unfightable if you have it in the right lineup, and. If you have a lot, if they have mostly physical damage, anyways, he can just completely take over, especially with his talent tree now. So that that's just my theory crafting on. I don't know how, how good that is, or it's good in my head. <laughs> yeah, and I know Centaur can handle tower pushes okay with the return damage, but I don't know. I think I like Witch Doctor quite a bit, though. I think he played really well in the last game. Did he ever actually die? Do you remember? Oh, he did die. Uh, once. I don't. I think but, Ricky picked yeah, he him did. Off he was really good. Yeah, he he played out of his mind. Any Jakiro bans? Did uh, maybe Team Blue not see Book of Mormon's draft <laughs> in the Seal League? Are we gonna see a? Uh, uh, well, they let him have Jakiro last game, and it yeah. didn't matter. Uh, the other thing was Omni. If I believe, not mistaken, I think Blue banned out Omni first three last time, and now they took it. Yeah, they, Om okay, Omni yeah. Witch Doctor, like. I mean, we'll see how the rest of it goes, but I think it's a way better first two than Ogre or Centaur. I really like two healing heroes, too. I think, uh, it, in general, it provides a little bit of extra air protection. And honestly, this league is a lot about who makes the wrong errors the wrong time, right? And when you have the additional healing, you make a bad error. You may can be able to continue push, continue um, chasing having a little bit extra health going into some fights, I think is pretty crucial for a lot of player, a lot of teams. Yeah. AA would still be a really good pick for Book of Mormon. Just from what they have They're completely to get all their heal, all their healing. Excuse me. Do you think you're going to go AA or, Oh, here it comes. Oh, that's not who I was. I was thinking AA or Jakiro, but they go with the night stalker. He's really good against both Omni and Witch Doctor. I think it's a really good pick. I'm really torn on Night Stalker. I really like the hero, especially in a four roll, but it just seems like after a certain point in the game, he's just a walking ward. Uh, yeah, his talent tree really lends him to being a core. Um, or can be, potentially, anyways. So he can be like that. Yeah, if he has a bad game, then he's just a walking ward. But if he has a good game, he can really steamroll and be a horrifying core, uh, like three position or four position core. <laughs> Not a bad it's way to Lycan. deal with Light, light Stalker. Just don't be anywhere near oh, where you can catch it. Lycan is so good against Night Stalker. Yeah. Go ahead and make it night all you want to. And, the... and it's interesting that they banned Coddle and then picked the Night Stalker themselves. Uh, that's really interesting to me. I think if you're gonna if you're if you're wanting nice soccer, you just let him half coddle. Shoot. Yeah, that's a good point. Even if he gets scepter, at least at least you can provide prevent the healing. I still think coddle's an annoying hero to deal with. And Book Medusa. of War, we're gonna pick up the Medusa. There we go. No, they really got a whole lot of tanky frontliners for her to stay in front of her. And they don't really have a great Medusa to deal with hero okay maybe a little bit better that, that explains the the coddle ban because they wanted do so yeah yeah od's really good against do so is it whoever wins the lane's gonna have it i mean because i think medusa is decent against od too right i mean if medusa gets uh, a lot of a lot of damage she can break through that od hp yes. pretty quick he just does so much damage so fast, and uh, his ult against her, we're moving all her mana. Uh, he's he's really good against her. 
um, I, when I was looking at Medusa's win rate against OD, he had one of the better win rates against Medusa as a hero. Oh, interesting. Who do you give the lane advantage to? It should still be Medusa if it, if they're going if they both go mid, uh, because OD has to be close to the wave, so it's really hard for him to not get snaked. And he's really dependent on his mana, especially because today they increased the mana cost on his uh, Astral Imprisonment. So it'll be harder for him to spam it if he doesn't proc the, the aura as much. It, it, he can run out of mana real quick. And getting... Oh, oh there we go! Yeah! Oh, man. I, I will admit, oh, I, would, yeah. I wasn't thinking Tinker, and that is a... Oh, they've got no lockdown for it. Tree. Oh, my gosh. That's it. Wonder... Oh, I love it tinker in this game yeah. all right book of mormon the rest of your crap draft is completely undone by that tinker pick i uh, <laughs> i don't i don't like tr i so tree is one of my top three favorite heroes and i think he's pretty awful he got a good buff today were, were, did you read no that i didn't i didn't did see that? that he got a couple uh buffs that i think uh make him much better hopefully i guess we'll find out oh now i have to look I would love to be able to play Tree again. I mean, he was uh, broken as crap. Level 10 talent was, uh, they changed, I forget what they, what it was, but they changed it to uh, an extra two instances of damage block, which I think is really good. So talent changed from 35% to two living armor block instances, 15 from plus three tree respawn time to two seconds. Oh yeah, that's dumb. What does that mean? Oh wow! Sorry, I had food in my mouth. It was uh, it just means the trees respond really quick. So, I mean, huh. I don't know when you would ever use that. Maybe you could draft tree int and timber together, and they would just always have trees. But like, what? <laughs> Weird. That's yeah. It's I mean, that's meme only stuff. Yeah. And then uh, his level twenty five is he gets a seven hundred AOE living armor cast. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's cool. So, I mean, he are. How often will he ever get there? Yeah. You know, but... <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. This, uh, this is the first one I think is really good. <laughs> the uh, two... Yeah, two extra blocks is really good, actually. It's actually pretty good against uh, their lineup, too. They don't have a lot of right clickers, right? I mean, Centaur's not really a right clicker. Night Stalker will be eventually, but he's still a melee hero. So who do you give the uh, edge to? You were a big fan of the Tinker pick. Is that uh, you giving it to Book of Mormon? Uh, I would still give it to Blue draft wise, but I mostly I would just like last game. It's just going to come down to how the teams play it because we both gave the heavy draft advantage to Book of Mormon last time, and uh, Blue really took it to him. So so it just depends on execution. So we'll see how it plays out. Looks like we're going to see quite a bit of Ruin Contestion down here in the uh, Radiant top lane. And it looks like Team Blue are going to claim it. Tinker's going to opt to not come help out. So Book of Mormon will be stuck with only one Bounty Ruin in their name. Man. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure Night Stalker is going to be roaming a decent amount, but Cedar Boy, uh, Centaur... Night Stalker offlane just sounds rough. Like <laughs> especially against a tree witch doctor. That just sounds painful. I wouldn't wanna I wouldn't wanna be in that lane. Um Yeah, we'll see how that plays out. Nope. Sentry. Tinker also does really well against OD in lane mid. And Medusa should be pretty good against this Omni Knight. Especially with this ogre. I mean this is kind of the situation where Ogre shines, right? Just melee offlane hero, just run at him, throw some fire on him once in a while, make him use his mana. If they wanted to, they could just have Deuce a solo against Somni, and she would destroy him. I, my gut is after two or three levels, they will. Ooh, boy, this centaur is just taking a ton of health. Maldek does end up going down. Tree Whoa. has just the big stick he's just beating centaur with. Tree, 90 tree right clicks, one, dude. 91 freaking damage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's why I love that hero. And I think it's really easy to forget how much damage he does. 
Because you never see them. When's the last time you've even seen a tree in pubs? I can't even remember. Yeah, not very often. Not at all, hardly. I think the last time I honestly saw a tree was when you guys drafted him last season. Yeah, I, I still like him. Uh, but yeah, it definitely has been underwhelming compared to what it was. I like him when Cheapy plays him. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I play a good tree, but not, not near that well. More runes going in for Team Blue. Night Stalker trying to see if he can harass his Witch Doctor, but his Witch Doctor standing his ground. <laughs> Says you're. I don't, no one fears the Night Stalker during the day. <laughs> oh, but here comes yeah, my friend like Tree. The tree coming. Yeah. yeah like standing his ground. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and here he comes to get another right click. Shakunk. Oh God. Yeah, oh. Mardigan just getting beat down. Now it's Cedar Boy's turn to get beat down. Stomp does give him some a little extra protection, but the Maladic will probably knock him down to about quarter HP. Got this so, off. Something they're going to have to start planning for is uh, a light can push in three or four minutes. And what they're going to do for it, they're going to have to rotate either Dusa or Tinker up for it, or they'll just lose their tier one definitely, and maybe even their tier two. Yeah, this Lycan is, and he's getting a lot of solo experience too. Already at level three at three minutes in. I mean, that's that's really good, especially for a tri lane. Oh. Cedar boy missed this stomp there on the tri end. That's oh, too bad. They may have gotten him. Well, probably not. Wish Doctor was right there, and I can't do to help. I'll also say Noble played an amazing Witch Doctor, and he's already playing another good one. Tinker doing really well in CS. We haven't actually checked in the mid lane at all yet. Yeah, I know. I've been watching. It's he's he's Night. doing really well. Nineteen. And he should. Tonight. Wish Doctor has a really really rough time with Tinker. The laser is a huge counter to him, and he just uh, he has nothing to offer against Tinker. He it's really hard for him to get close to because Tinker has so much better range as well. Medusa is just dominating Omni Knight too. Night. Does actually have seven CS, probably just from purify spam. Yeah, once she once she hits five, she can spam the snake all she wants to every single wave against him, and uh, he won't be able to stay in lane. It is nighttime. Just solo casted it against Dark. him. A little bit of uncoordinated gank up on the OD there, and and he had haze, so not getting that one. Omni Knight's way back here by the tier one. So Dark Night Stalker is probably not getting a lot of stocking done this night. 30 seconds already gone from night. Cedar Boy just getting completely zoned out. Does end up getting two. a nice Observer Ward kill. We'll give him a little there extra There was a gold. really good snake there by Realtree. <laughs> it's working. Yeah, Lycan. 30 and 16 on his CS count so far. Just just killing his lane. Medusa's starting to stack some camps up. Actually, Omni Knight's pretty far out. Night Stalker's here. Gonna just probably zone him out a little bit. Does get his little mini stun on him. I'm gonna give him a right click or two. Omni Knight will run to the tower. I, I think Book of Mormon is making a good adjustment here. Just Focus on Dusa, get her big, fast, uh, and you get Tinker and Dusa big, they can hold up against any push as long as they don't die. Their high ground defense is insane, so they'll be fine, I think, against if they can just get them big quick. And Lycan's not, Lycan's kind of a weird team fight here. He's really good at running in and getting a kill, but Medusa's already always also pretty good at defending against that too. Yeah, I think or two. And, and he he does nothing when he gets lasered. He'll he'll, he'll need to BKB. Um, yeah, he'll, he'll he'll need to BKB for them to go high ground. I really think that BKB nerf is pretty significant too. Every level being at 70. I mean, that was kind of the thing with BKB. He didn't mind. Okay, it sucks. I I lose a count every time, but at least the cooldown's a little bit lower. But 
now, no change. Yeah. So every time you use a BKB yeah. and you don't get something out of it, it's actually pretty significant. Nice Lucker's dead. Oh, yeah. I oh that was that first one. blood. That's quite a late one. Six minutes for first blood. Medusa is going to start farming this triple stack. Yeah, triple stack over here. Here comes the Omni Knight, though. He sees the triple stack and he wants a little bit of it. Does ping it out. Sees the ogre protecting it, though. Ogre's going to try to stack it again, but Omni Knight will likely block it or pull it. Actually, he just helped it stack again. <laughs> I don't. I, that's, that is not what I was expecting from Ami. I kind of figured he'd just walk in there, make sure it gets blocked, and then kind of casually walk back up the hill. So, Lycan just got his helm. So here comes the push. As soon as they get... Uh... Oh, he, oh, he went to uh, Ring of Basilius first, so he didn't get in time for the first uh, siege creep. But yeah, we'll see what they do OD, with it. I'm just missing kills left and light. OD oh, ends up going I missed down. that one. Oh, I should have known better than to not watch Tinker. <laughs> 403 build. I bet that caught OD by surprise. Yeah, I, I'm a little surprised. I'm sure that's that. how he got that kill, is he did not think that Laser would be doing 320 pure damage. Ooh, and point. they actually that's pick up Lycan over at the top lane. Camera work is Ow. just terrible, but boy, Book of Mormon really doing a really job on this laning phase. Keeping Team Blue on their toes. Very different than we saw last game, which that's that's so big. Lycan dying right now is the worst thing that could possibly happen. And they I got it was during the during the night too. Now Medusa coming in here against this tree. Tree gets a nice. Oh, but Medusa's got us all, and then they're all yeah, petrified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to turn around and fight. Medusa oh, gets a couple right clicks off, sooner. but you're gonna miss the tree. As, as, as soon as she ulted, she just should have turned immediately, so that. Uh, she gotta, they, can't, they can't keep chasing her right-clicking her after that. I wonder if they didn't look to see where Lycan was and they were worried the Lycan ult was going to come in. That was the only thing I could think of. Here comes the Witch Doctor. Maybe. Witch Doctor not quite in position. Tree engaged a little soon. Coconut oh, will fly. Geez, Here it comes. Here comes actually. the tree. Oh, and the Coconut actually gets the kill. Noble having another really good game in this series. Two kills already for this Witch Doctor. Following suit from last game. Oh, Tinker went nine, bots after the, uh, nine minute bots bottle. on Tinker. Pretty good. Like it all uh, engaged here up on it. top. Centaur is in deep trouble. Oh, nice troll trap. Going to stop Cedar Boy out for a little bit longer. But Lycan's going to continue to pursue. Chomp goes the wolf. One chomp, two chomps. And go for the three chomp. He's body stop, blocking stop, himself, stop. but he got it. Now Control will run out of here. He has the armor. Should give him a significant amount of protection. I don't think there's anything they can do about it. Nice troll trap usage from control there. Really nice micro. Medusa actually TP top. That might be a, a little bit of a significant play. He's not going to get near as much farm up here. Oh, this Omni Knight will have some opportunity yeah, to catch they, up. Yeah, they thought they could get him before he got back out, but it's too late. So I have to ask, just because we see a Helm of Dominator and it was a good night micro play. Did you see the uh, OG game where they had no stop for the BKB Enigma ult? And so No Tail grabbed the Helm of Dominator and just had a troll walking around, stunning Enigma every time he BKB Black Hold. Oh, that is so next level. Yeah, it was. I, I didn't even notice that the casters were confused. Everyone was like, how did the black hole stop? And they're like, it's a troll trap. No tail with this insane micro. So, I mean, man, you That's can... not balanced. That shouldn't, for the creep, that should, <laughs> I can understand on Naga, but for the creep to go through BKB, that's insane. Yep. That's just stupid. Yeah, I thought that was a very clever play there, though, because they had no defense against it. Control has two. Maybe, maybe as Enigma, you go Midas. Just <laughs> Midas that creep, then use your black yeah. hole. Control's got a wolf here, giving him a ton of attack damage. He's going to have his ult available in 10 seconds as well. Small thing with Tinker maxing laser and not getting anything in Rocket, or he has one in it now, but it'll be very, very negligible damage for 
quite a while. Uh, probably for the first team fight, I'm gonna assume. I guess we'll see how the game plays out. We might see it coming up here too. Looks like Team BOM are kind of put mounting a defense, maybe hoping for nighttime, which should be in the 30 seconds. Oh, Trent, they see him. Oh, they see him. Yeah. He yeah. did not get away. He's gonna attempt. To oh, and the laser blast just takes him down. They definitely know there are some wards and sentries up there now, though. He's got his soul ring now, and it's dreaded. And when you want all that stuff, that, that's why I don't skip it before I go bots. Not that it was wrong, but you're getting really good farming. You get bots first, but you still always have to go back for a soul ring, anyways. Yeah, I and mean, you can farm so much better when you have soul ring bottle in lane. Soaring on Tinkers, it's just so good. Ooh, we actually have a Centaur all. Looks like it's just using to get away. Here comes, here comes Control though. He misses the stomp and now Control's gonna come in for some chomp chomps. But guess what? The Witch Doctor's there and he gets another kill. Now Night Stalkers, even at night, no match against this Lycan. Actually the Tinker, oh, much juicier target. Control starts shifting towards him but realizing his ult's about to expire and backs out. It. They're doing well top, but it's a real problem. They saw this tier one standing at 12 minutes as a with a Lycan. That that shouldn't be the case, and they haven't really committed that hard to a push with it. If Lycan's not getting towers, he's not going to be good. Oh, the Omni Knight tries to get the Ogre, but doesn't quite get it. Oh, and he's still alive. And now here comes the Tinker. Zap, zap, takes out the Omni Knight tree. Looks like he's going to stand here and try to cloak. No reveal, so he should make it out. They know he's around, but there's not much they can do about it. Nice rotation from the Tinker there. Ogre survived forever, allowing him to get that kill. The Ogre, the man of shielding fat, protects him. They did end up getting that tier one over in top finally, though. Oh, the tree revealed himself. Nice sentry. Oh, no, uh, oh well, we did have uh, a sentry. Yeah, yep. Ogre put the sentry down after he TP'd in. That Tinker laser doing a ton of work. Does have level 2 in Rocket now. Do you max Rocket before you get the next level in Rearm? Or uh, laser? Uh, rocket. Oh, no, yes. So he got, he rocket before up. laser. I do, yes. Um, but the laser's really working out for him because he's getting yeah. a lot of kills with it. Looks like we have some rotations bottom. Night Stalker's inbound. Knight for another two minutes. Comes in for the Omni Knight. Throws out a void. They were trying to see if the Witch Doctor was around, but didn't quite see him. I haven't really seen this OD another. really contribute a whole lot in any of the fights yet. He's doing yeah, really well on fine. CS. He's like, farm get big. Uh, another small tinker thing, whenever he's farming, oh, can I ping it? These, these camps over here, if you right click them once, uh, either, either creep, it'll pull it enough where you can just have to march twice and then it'll keep pulling itself. Otherwise you have to march three times. And Radiant did scan, they know there's only three heroes here and man, Cedar Boy wants oh, them, or control, bottom. throws down his ult. They're backing up from the Medusa ult. Medusa's gonna zone out the uh, Witch Doctor. But the controls back into the fight. Now he knows Medusa is completely vulnerable. He is getting zoned out by his own creeps, but I don't think it's going to matter. Chomp, chomp. Control kills Medusa. And on the back line, Omni Knight goes down. Now Control's ult is down. Nighttime still available for another 50 seconds. Control is still very, very powerful, though. He's probably going to nice stun. Oh, now here comes the Tinker looking for Control. A purge. Going to blast him once, blast him twice. Control goes down. Three heroes for just the Medusa. Pretty solid. Yeah, that was good. it's a small thing too, but if he would have did the tier two and lasered like in, uh, you know, maybe she dies to the creeps anyways. Uh, anyways, that's how it went. I think he needs to really focus. At least and he's going. He's got his execute up now. I still think he should ace the lands first, but anyways, focus getting that laser on like in big time. He's useless without it. I was, without about, I was about to say, doesn't he need his blank? Oh yeah, he's already got his blank because he's a farm tinker, and that's what tinkers do. Get items uh, insanely he, fast. He, he, Really needs the Aether Lens though, because otherwise he just he has to, he has to get too close to cast his spells, especially the laser, and that really puts you at risk. Uh, well, especially so. when they got a tree, could be sitting there, throw down the alt, can't blink when the alt's on him. 
could have a yeah. Omni Knight yeah, sitting back there, Witch Doctor. He has to stay as far away as possible. Looks like Team Blue a little bit uh, surprised, I think, is probably pretty fair from that Tinker pick. Kind of causing problems with their team fight. He is getting very farmed now, too. Have some action down here. Control's a little bit close in the back line here. Gets blasted by the Tinker. I'm not going to give him some extra protection, but now Tinker's caught up yeah. by that Witch Doctor. The fat from Ogre will protect him for a little bit longer, but Team Blue... Take a nice fight, able to lock that Tinker in and take him out. And this should be up. Tier 1 tower goes down. Oh, now he's changing and going back for Kaya. I've experimented with Kaya. I'm sure it can be good, but you need your Ags fast. And I, I just I think I think Aetherland's Ags is the way to go. Uh, Seemed like Kaya was uh, a little that. bit overpowered, probably not balanced. And now that it's balanced, it's not very good anymore. <laughs> Uh, I still think it's really good. Uh, I just think the Aether Lens is better, and both are really good if you want to get both, but then it delays your Ags a whole lot. OD, really deep there. End up still going to get out. Ogre falls in the back line. Here comes Control, wants another. Yeah, here's the push they could have been doing. Nice, all from fight Centaur. They could get right here comes, they here comes Tinker. Does get a laser out. That should back off Control. Really nice. All from the Centaur, All right. Team Blue are going to probably hastily retreat. They do not want to fight into this now. Uh, I was going to say, too, that the Tinker committing there, like, I can't even criticize him for it because it's, it's so easy to do to when you're just, I don't know, when you're really feeling that Tinker just blink in and then you realize, oh, crap, they're all, they're all and then you just die. <laughs> it's, it's really easy to overextend. Yeah, Tinker's one of those heroes I feel, especially in our skill bracket, that you can get really overconfident and you forget you still are a tinker. <laughs> I mean, he's got yeah, seven armor, 1300 HP. Yeah, that's why this new talent changed. They changed the 100 damage talent, which was good because that was the, the dumbest talent in the world. Why would you ever get 100 damage on tinkers? Well, they changed it to 10 armor, which is almost just as dumb. Like, you get caught out as a tinker, you're, you're just dead no matter what. No matter if you have 20 armor, okay? So that. It's not going to matter either, especially when you're going to... Who's going to take that over 8 plus 8 damage March the Machines? It's, it's never going to happen. Yeah, I think uh, March the Machines... Oh, Centaur here. Ooh. Centaur completely caught out. Not able to do anything. Rockets will oh, the, fly, the OD but... was invisible and banished him. Uh-oh. about it. Witch Doctor blocked out. <laughs> Ran oh. into a random <laughs> Night Stalker. Not getting uh, out of that one. Throws him out. He didn't hang around too long still, though. Like, why is he still there? Yeah, he, I mean, he tried to beam out when he got caught, but he should have beamed out five, six seconds long before that. Tinker, still excellent farm. Just slightly behind Lycan right now, and Lycan, I think, has more kills. Six and one. Oh, actually, no. Tinker doing very well in the kills. Uh-oh. This is what else you have to be careful for of the uh, the Lycan. This is a, a, something you need to monitor very closely. Controls in the pit. Just mowing down this Roshan. Uh, another thing to think about is, is OD gets bigger. Once he has his blink, if he goes Shiva's, he can just blink Shiva's into the trees, into where, wherever Tinker is. <laughs> Uh, or force into it if a blink gets cancelled by, by by the march and just destroy Tinker. It'll be a huge Tinker counter. OD is about to have his blink dagger. Only about 500 gold away from it. I think at this point, Tinker's going to have to be a little bit more careful. They actually held a dominator, that siege creep. Give themselves another little cardi. But looks like BOM is ready are ready for this fight. They're gonna actually engage. Looks like outside the tower. Thought maybe Centaur was going in there. OD actually banished himself. It's a pretty risky play. I think he's gonna get away with it, but BOM definitely could have probably engaged there. If they would have known Lycan wasn't there, they probably would have. Oh, there it comes. Oh, he just saved that wish doctor. 
hood pop from OD. Centaur. Not OD, Omni Knight. Lycan Tree still not in position here. Snake come out, here comes the Centaur out. Croconut's gonna fly, get some really nice bounces. Oh, Witch, Doctor, Witch Doctor may die, but man, totally worth it in the end. Medusa Alt's gonna have to come out. Witch Doctor does end up going down, but he did so much in that fight. Oh, and the OD hammer just obliterates the Medusa. Medusa just disappears. Tinker's on the back line, seeing if he can get done. However, the pings come out, and he is not caught out. But boy, he can't go anywhere to anywhere to help his friends. And now the Night Stalker's in all sorts of trouble. Control. Oh, the Tinker come in to save. They actually might get the kill here. Omni Knight gonna give him some extra protection. Get maybe one more blast off. Oh, does get the ages. And here comes OD. Gonna protect the like and make sure he comes back up and they should be able to back up and grab that tier two tower without too much problem. Tinker saved Night Stalker's life. I think he uh, owes him a, a beverage. Maybe, uh, maybe some pizza. Tinker gonna see if he can try to protect this tower. It seems a little bit risky though. OD actually has his Blink Digger in the Courier, maybe? This Witch Doctor Coconut is just doing so much work. <laughs> so, so, hovering over Tinker, he, he's not bottling in between spell casts or rearms, which is only in the Fountain, uh, which is really limiting how much he can cast spells when he comes out, especially since he's got the Kaya. It, it almost counteracts the Kaya, which is giving him toast to really, if you're not bottling up in between them anyways, then your Kaya is kind of useless because you're not getting as much region out of it anyways. Does Kaya yeah, that's kind of why I don't Kaya, like Kaya for Tinker is he's always going back to the fountain anyways. Yeah. So you get a certain amount of casts. Oh, he's going to, he's, he's dead. Oh no. Tinker caught out. Again, thought he could get a little aggressive on the tree, but you have to be so careful when you go up point blank on a tree. Uh, so, yeah, oh, that's that's not good. They can go high ground here. He's gonna have to buy back. Oh, you know what? You know why they got tree there, Tar? Oh. They uh, have a scepter on tree. They're gonna start. Oh boy, Tinker's not safe in the trees. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't even think of that. To be 100% honest, and he got it pretty quick too. 24 minute scepter on tree is. Pretty good. Yeah. And this yeah. tower is going to go down Boy. insanely fast. Holy cow. This Lycan is yeah. just tearing Tinker, through this back, tower. Oh, he is going to hold it. 15 seconds out. OD's going to be Oh, no. Barracks is going to be fall. No fortify. Medusa is going to throw down her ult, but I don't think it's going to get a whole lot accomplished. The damage is done. Barracks are down, and Team Blue going to withdraw to the safety of the Radiant Jungle. That's the, I don't know, that's my hate love with Tinker is just mistakes are punished really heavy with Tinker. Maybe more heavy than any other hero that I can think of. It's off the top of my head. Like, them losing that Rex is just because he made that mistake. Yeah, probably like, I mean, for core heroes, I could probably, I think Tinker is probably one of the bigger ones. For non-core heroes, I mean. <laughs> I don't really like Scepter on Phoenix, but if uh, Scepter Phoenix can be uh, about as game changing as a, of an ability as you can imagine. And uh, Tusk Snowball, another potentially devastating yeah. ability. Okay, so the back to the Kaya, it, it, you only get so many spells you can cast when you in between fountain trips, anyways. And it's only it's saving you 10% on each one of those spells, but how many does that give you maybe one more spell? Maybe? Probably not even that until your uh, mana pool is really big. And then you're going back to the fountain anyways. So that's why I've decided, you know, I'm, I'm just skipping it. Aether Lens is definitely the way to go. It will save you a lot of mana over the course of the game, but you're going about back to the fountain a whole lot anyway. So is it really saving you that much? I, I don't think that it does. Yeah, I don't I don't have a lot of heroes I really like Kion, to be honest. Sometimes, like, if I'm playing a crystal game and my team is just The spell awful, app is awesome. I don't yeah. want a whole lot of heroes, um, but I don't know. Hero has a talent for that, anyways. So just, just do that. If you're gonna go Kaya and then just straight Dagon and you want to Dagon people, I could I could see that, but that's really risky too. 
Tinker's going to have to start playing out of his mind, though. I think this game's going to be a lot on him. This Medusa is just, they're not able to get a good ult off. Uh, here's the other problem, too, is it's his Ags is so delayed at this point. He, he's not going to have the bouncing laser that he, he needs and the four rockets in order to stave off these high ground pushes. Lycan can just destroy these towers, too. Yeah, I hate Clockwork against Tinker too, especially when they explain it. Oh, I love uh, <laughs> I love Clockwork against Tinker. It's worse when your teammates play heroes like that. Like, I mean, I know where Legion likes to put wards, so whenever I play against Legion, like, no matter how bad of a game I'm playing, I can usually be warded pretty well, and it drives him absolutely nuts. And he wards in really good places. It's just I know where he wards, so <laughs> just probably like, you know, Zig Zig knows where you like to go as Dinker, so <laughs> throws a rocket up there. Hey, he is there? All right. Oh, there's little tree eyes. I think you can deal with Clock as Tinker, but you have to get a force, and that's something you really don't want to get on a Tinker because your slots are really limited, anyways. And then even then, Clock can just force it, and if he forces correctly, he just keep on following you. So. It if that's the case, then you got to go for Cyclone, and then you're really in trouble because you don't want, yeah, you don't have the items that you need in other ways to contribute like you need to. Yeah, I like Nyx to deal with Tinker a lot too. Yeah, yeah Nyx is good too. In this tower. Oh, maybe Centaur's going to opt to defend it. I'm a little surprised. I thought they were going to maybe try to bait a like and kill there, but. Go in there a little fast and scare Lycan away. Problem with Lycan is he's just going to stick up to the forest up there, wait a little while, and then kill that tower. Here's another real problem is Deuce just went, and I disagree with this. I know some there's different theories of thought, but just... Oh, no. No. Damage no. Damage <laughs> I just no. time to see that. Oh. Oh, oh what? Oh, <laughs> I was going to leave. <laughs> It zigs back, com comes to the to the, to the Medusa Lincolns. I okay. So, what's Link? This is always the question I have to ask with Lincolns. What are you going to accomplish with it? You're gonna stop an OD. Yeah, this game. Yeah. Nothing. OD banish, and that's yeah. it. It is it. Oh, and the boost all comes out way too late. Now it's down for high ground. I'm not really sure Tinker's actually gonna game. get anything about. Here's the other thing too is it doesn't even stop cooking it. It will stop it from stunning you that time, but the coconut's gonna keep bouncing. It can bounce right back to you and get stunned. This tier two is gonna go down. They could easily go top, take tier two there. I think Roche is up in 25 seconds, so that they'll they'll definitely probably find see that. B O M are in a ton of trouble. She's got Scotty queued up. I, I really think she needs a maelstrom. They, they've got to get more wave clear. Even even with her split shot, it's, it's not enough. Her split shot is doing so. Little because she has hardly any damage. Well, and Lycan's got a ton of HP. He doesn't have a ton of armor, but 2300. Midas Radiance SY. I haven't even clicked on him. He's most of the way to a Shiva's, too. This is not looking good. Their four position trend has more than the Dusa. It's not looking good. And Medusa did well in lane, too, just. Not able right. to get him. Well, she would have gone Maelstrom, she got kept, go kept that going, but it took her too long to get the Lincolns. And she didn't have any, I mean, the Maelstrom would have filters farmed so much faster. And wave cleared so much more. I think you always, I mean, Lincolns aside, even if they would have gone a non-farming item, I think you always got to look at where do you think you're going to be the strongest in the game. And with a Lycan, he comes online so much faster than you, you're, you you got to keep up and farm. If you start falling yeah. hard, get... I don't think they planned very well for that. Or, or underestimated how well they could hold against it anyways. Yeah, and I don't think it's fair to put that all on the Tinker. You can't expect the Tinker to deal with the Lycan because he doesn't have a lot of control. He's not going to be going into the fights and just see seeing this Lycan down so your teammates can kill him. He's going to be doing most of the damage. you got to help Tinker's the Tinker out. Tinker's uh -huh. If only had seen him, that might have been an easy kill. Book of Mormon looking pretty scared in this last, potentially last game of the series. Control's gonna pick up a 
likely in ages and it's some beautiful Gorzon. Delicious cheese. He should drop his clarity, I think. Oh wait, he's got lots. Never mind. He doesn't need that TP scroll. Tinker should buy out for the eggs here. Yeah, it's probably worth. Yeah, if he can get out to go get it. Yeah, that's the thing. He's got nothing to get out there with. Drop it. The, the oh, courier! 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 Got, courier! courier got spotted. Oh, four health on that courier. Oh, my oh God. No. he's going no, back to rage creep! Oh, oh my gosh, the micro! <laughs> oh my gosh, that courier. I'm commanding whoever like, was like, controlling that courier. Game. That was a game winning, game potentially saving play. Right. If it just goes down there, the game is just over. <laughs> I don't think they could have defended for without it. I think the game could have been over right. in three minutes. Did buy out for it. So we're gonna ch jump to he the. Has to be really, re if he dies, the game is over. Honestly, if Medusa dies after her alt, the game might be over too. I don't even know if Tinker can defend it by himself. Yeah, yeah. they they can never leave their base until they win a team fight inside of their base. And so, Probably two team fights, right? They all have buybacks. Like. Yeah, it looks like we got Omni Lycan, OD, Medusa, and Centaur have buybacks currently on the field. I mean, Tinker's annoying here, but. Well, I mean. Oh, he's going back for the Aether Lens now. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's too late. Oh, man. He. And the range on rockets will be that. nice, but I don't think it's that nice. Oh, I think maybe at this point you're just so far behind that it, maybe it is worth it to just go get it, but he should have started with it in the first place. Control having a pretty good series this game. Showing his liking is something to be feared. So much heal over here on Team Blue too. You have the tree armor, Omni Knight, Witch Doctor, and Centaur. Might have gotten caught out mid lane. Shiva's guard's gonna come in here. He's already down at half health. Tries to get a stun off, but the Omni Knight repel gonna give him full protection. Two alts burned over here. We have the Medusa alt was already procced. That is down, and same with the Centaur alt. I guess the one advantage is OD did have to pop his first 10 second BKB. But while all that's happening, trees putting up more trees. There are so many little red yeah. trees across oh, the map. Oh, no rush at all. Oh, here. they oh, actually they kick off the Omni. Knight. That is a huge kill. Doesn't look like control. Just keep everybody inside of their base. Centaur had his ult there. Things whittling stuff down bit by bit by bit. Oh. That ward got spotted out right away. <laughs> Witch Doctor tries to get a base ward out, but no Megusta. Tinker sought, sought immediately. Tinker can't do any split pushing though. There's so many trees out here. This tree is gonna continue to get fat. Trees should come up and put eyes in the forest up and down the lanes. Like, yeah, exactly. Here. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's gonna whenever... inside of the jungle there. Yeah, whenever um, he catches Tinker out there trying to push down waves, he can just ult and keep Tinker there for that precious like 20 seconds or whatever. Ooh, they actually go up here on OD here. The trio gonna give him some extra protection. Nice oh, but the Medusa's just getting crushed on. Gonna have to pop her ult. Centaur actually has to follow up with his ult as well. They're gonna see what they can do. BKB has been ex popped by the OD, giving him the protection he needs to get out. Here comes the more Tinker rockets inbound. However, they have the tree and the witch doctor here to start healing up the teammates. Centaur a little worried. Now, Team Blue. They want this. They want to go to another grand finals here in the 82L. This, this feels bad as a Tinker player because I know this is, you get to the end screen and you'll see that you've done close to 100,000 hero damage, but you still lose because you've just been anti-sieging the whole time. 
I like hear Lycan Lycan alt come here. He has a BKB. BKB's yeah, coming it. in. There's nothing that he can do about it here anymore. He's just taking chunks out of the tower. The glyph had to be popped, but now he's taking chunks out of Cedar Boy. Cedar Boy ends up going down. Medusa actually falls in the mid lane. This this top tier two, tier oh, three tower no, is going down buy back fast. Immediately. Medusa, buy back. Medusa That's doesn't know. out before he died. Oh, he no. Staff, that was died. a big error. There's nothing they can do about this. Force Staff's not going to save you from the Lycan. And now bottom top Rax is gone. Tinkerhead comes back, starts Wait, firing what? out more lasers, but boy. He bought out before he had buyback? He bought a force staff right before he died. Team Blue oh, is just fall does no. not care. They have so much health. Oh, oh, he puts down the hammer. Just lays down, deletes the Night Stalker from the map. Medusa's taking so much orb damage. The OD goes aggressive and takes her out. It is only a Tinker left, but man, Team Blue wiping all of these racks out. GG is called. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she Team did. Blue oh, going to the grand finals in this 82L season. Oof. Team That's too Blue. bad. I, I really feel like it was just a uh, misplays. I mean, it's always it's Dota, you know, so that's too bad yeah dota the game of uh who can who has the most <laughs> errors sometimes is how yeah. it usually is especially it's this one. brutal well guys hey appreciate you joining jumping in and cast with me this evening we're gonna sign off team blue will be heading to the grand finals next thursday i know uh we'll be casting don't know who's gonna be there or not uh it'll definitely be someone from our team so hopefully you guys will all tune in next week as we'll see team blue go up against the winner of its petting zoo retards and taint gaming we'll uh we'll see who wins that game and uh they'll be taking on team blue next week and uh if you guys like what we do definitely check us out on twitch follow us at twitch.tv slash all about dota and for tar and ziggity i'm sequoia we'll catch you next time